Hey everybody, good morning. Look what I got going on. Okay, so what I did was I have had some chicken breasts in the refrigerator the last couple days. I decided I was going to go ahead and make some chicken and dumplings. So what I did was I cut up the chicken breasts, put them in water, I seasoned it, some garlic, some all seasoning, some... I'm out of pepper. Thank, oh. it, uh, uh, sorry. I know. I know. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cook this chicken. And then when I get done with it, when it gets done cooking, I'm going to go ahead and make my dumplings. And we're going to have chicken and dumplings for dinner. I'm excited. I'm excited. Y'all, come back. It'll be just a minute. Okay, everybody, so I got my chicken is a cooking. I got some eggs. Here we go, and my flour. So we'll just go ahead and uh, we're going to crack all these eggs in here. I'm making quite a bit. I hope y'all are having a good day. I am just kind of taking a day in, putzing around. I got about 10 eggs. All right. Get all these cleaned up. I am one of those cooks that I clean up as I go. I don't know. I guess that's the way I was raised. Oh, the chicken's boiling good. So we want to go ahead and just beat the heck out of these eggs. Now I'm making dumplings. The way that I was taught, my grandmother was a German, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of salt into this. I use pink salt. Great to cook with. Oh, that chicken's smelling good. All right. Then what I'm going to do, see, I do this real simple. Um, <clears throat> sorry. I'm going to go ahead and just add my flour. A little bit at a time, beat it in. Stir it around, beat it in. You know, you, I don't know. I guess the older I get, the simpler I want things. And uh, this is one of those deals. Just works for me. It's simple. Add some more flour. Do uh. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> got a cough over the sink. Do uh, yay. You beat the son of a bitches. You make sure that you get all the flour. Ooh, beat it. 
Just beat it. Beat it. That's right, boys and girls. Take out your frustrations on your eggs and your flour. Uh-huh, see, just like a mixing bowl. Whee! Whoops. Flower on the floor. Clean up aisle five. Now, depending on how many noodles you want or dumplings you want, you can uh, add more eggs. I just put 10 in here. This will make quite a few. And I want to show you what I'm going to do. Now, like I said, I was raised by German cooks and Hungarian cooks, believe it or not. So, my mother always used a teaspoon. So did my grandmother. And this is what we're going to do. Here we go. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to add, cook the dumplings right in with the chicken. Let me get this a little bit closer for y'all so that you can see what we're going to do. All right. So you just want to take a little bit at a time, just like this. And it'll fall right off your spoon. That's all you do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let these noodles or the dumplings cook with the chicken. The reason being is the flour will also thicken the broth. And you just put them in, let them what they'll do is they'll sink, sink to the bottom and then they'll rise to the top when they're done. You don't add any baking soda or powder to it, nothing. They will expand by themselves, trust me. You can make them as big as you want or as little as you want. So I'll be right back. So as you can see, look at here. Oh my God, look at all that. So what I did was I've got a little bit of cornstarch. I made myself a little bit of luscious cream to go in there, thicken it up. Got the chicken broth in there. Got the cornstarch. Oh my gosh, it's going to be luscious. Okay. Wait for it to cook a little bit. Thicken up. And we're going to add just a little bit more salt, I think. right back so everybody look it's done one thing I did forget is I did put in uh, some chicken broth but here it is it's done look at this oh my gosh that's right folks And this is the final. There it is. Look at that. Delicious. Mmm. You can season it. I don't use a lot of salt, but I do put salt in it. 
But <clears throat> look at how delicious that is. My gosh, I wish you all could smell it. You can also add, if you want, some onions, which I didn't have, and also a little bit of sour cream. So I hope that you enjoy this. Chicken and dumplings, Saturday. Love you all. Have a great day. Bye-bye.